Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's the market update for Wednesday the 24th. A um, couple of headlines just to consider. Um, sterling has hit fresh post-Brexit highs, um, both against the dollar and the euro. Uh, the euro itself um, has moved higher uh, on stronger than expected consumer confidence data yesterday. And uh, across the board, the dollar weakness uh, continues. So far in 2018, um, sterling has actually gained about 4% over the dollar. Um, it's a great start to the, uh, to the year for, for the UK currency and indeed for UK uh, importers who are exposed to the dollar. A key driver for this seems to be um, the optimism that is, is surrounding the, uh, the terms for stage two of the Brexit process. Um, as a little reminder, if you cast your mind back, before the Brexit vote, sterling was um, over 151 against the dollar and touching 120 or thereabouts against a single currency. Um, obviously, the bottom fell out of the currency on, on the result of the referendum. However, interestingly, since then, where we are now, uh, sterling has actually recovered about just over 65% of the losses uh, incurred at uh, the referendum result. So, you know, good going and indeed strong progress. There seems to be a good sentiment building behind, uh, behind sterling and the UK PLC now. Um, that said, uh, some analysts are calling for a short-term correction in this, in this current move. Um, so, for example, if you have any invoices pending where you need to buy currency, it may be worth taking at least some of that exposure off the table um, at, at the current levels and take advantage of where the market currently is. Data-wise today, we saw the UK unemployment report come out at 9.30. This was very much in line with expectations and, frankly, a little bit of a relief. Uh, beforehand, again, there was a lot of chatter uh, in, uh, in and amongst the analysts around the, the labour market. Because it is already very tight, uh, it represents a growing risk for, for sterling, whereby um, a surprising fall in the number of new jobs created um, could well prove to a surprise the market and b therefore uh, be the catalyst for a short term sell off uh, for sterling um, so again risk horizon passed for for the time being, which is great, but that risk will linger over over the data month on month without doubt. Um, looking across the channel towards the, the Eurozone, yesterday the Euro the single currency benefited from uh, consumer confidence, um, which all but confirmed that fears over the financial crisis have now basically passed. So great going within the, uh, within the Eurozone and uh, confidence seems to be running, running very high. Um, coupled with that, of course, um, looking ahead to tomorrow's ECB meeting, um, there seems to be growing significance around this meeting, um, with expectation increasing that Draghi will in fact announce uh, a timetable over the withdrawal of stimulus. Um, you may re remember a couple of days ago I mentioned that this is unlikely because um, A, Draghi likes to sit on his hands and not be, uh, not be called by the market, but also the inflationary pressures across the, uh, the continent are not calling him to act. Um, however, you know, overnight, uh, you know, sentiment has changed and, and uh, apparently this could even now be as, as soon as Q2, uh, which is much sooner than expected and has proved very positive for the single currency. Uh, the euro dollar exchange rate has moved higher, uh, you know, it's crossed 123 and in, uh, it crossed 123 yesterday um, and the rally continued overnight in US trading. Uh, we'll pop the current rates in the, in the comments below to, for, uh, for a timely update. Um, Stateside, the dollar, the dollar fall continued uh, to gain momentum. Again, it seems like markets have just, you know, the sentiments changed slightly. It seems to be losing confidence ever so slightly in the key drivers, such as interest rate policies that would otherwise provide uh, support for the currency. Um, point of note, yesterday a chap called Jeremy Powell was approved as the new Fed chair by the Senate. 
um, and, and this did impact the value of the dollar because he is seen to uh, to favour a low interest rate policy and so obviously having a dove in, in, uh, in the Fed chair um, has not been well received by the dollar bulls. Uh, however, to balance that out, he is also uh, reputed to favour normalisation of monetary policy sooner rather than later. So it may be a balance, but certainly in, in, in the short term, the, the market uh, has taken that as a negative for the dollar. Um, yesterday, you may well have seen on the news, certainly there's plenty on, on Bloomberg and CNBC about you know, uh, interviews from Davos. Yesterday, the president put tariffs on both solar panel and washing machine imports. Uh, the immediate knee-jerk reaction there was that China and South Korea have reported the US to the World Trade Organization. Um, and look, you know, sit back and enjoy the ride. We, we may see um, a, a trade war resulting from this initial east-west saber rattling. Either way, we'll keep you posted on any developments that go throughout the day. Um, if you've got any questions, any specific queries, be, feel free to tweet me at FXPlu. Use the hashtag AskPlu and you'll get to the top of the list. All the best. Have a great day. Bye for now.